Hi everybody, today I will show you Max Mega Menu WordPress tutorial. So let's just begin. Alright, so to create the Max Mega Menu, what we need to do, we have to install the plugin. So for that, we have to go inside Add New Plugin, and here we have to search for Max Mega Menu. Okay, so now let's click on Install now. Click on Activate. Alright, so now if I just go to my website here. Now you'll be able to see this is how our menu is looking right now. Okay, so now let's go back. And here I would like to go inside the appearance and click on the menus. Alright, so here right now I will simply change my menu. So this is the one that I'm using as a primary menu. So let's select this. And here what I need to do, I have to edit my menu here. Alright, so now let's click on this arrow. And I would like to change the name here. So this would be main. And in the URL, obviously, I would need to make changes here. All right. So after this, you can see this, we have this different item. So I'm going to simply rename all of these. So the first one would be products. Okay, so right now, I'm not changing the URL here. But obviously, when you're trying to change the menu, you would need to add the URLs of the corresponding pages. Okay. But right now, I'll just simply keep it like this. And I will only change the navigation label. Okay, so let's just change this and let's click on this one. So this would be the category. All right. And this would be the policies. All right. So I think this is enough. And I would simply like to delete last one. So let's remove this one. All right. So now this is looking great. And I will need to add more options here in the products category and the policy. So let's just add this. So here I'm going to simply write down. All right. So this is the product. All right, so now I would like to add the categories. Let's just add the mobile fonts. Let's just add the LED. All right, so I think this is enough. And we also have to add the policies here. So first, we're going to add privacy policies. Now we'll write down return policies. All right, so I think now this is looking enough. So now what we can do here, I will simply try to drag the products inside the product sub item so let's go here with the tail now let's go here with the iphone all right so now in the categories let's just put laptop let's just put mobile phones and in the last let's just put led all right so this will be the leds okay all right so i think this will work fine now so let's just add the policies all right so now this is looking great we have the main menu items and in the sub items, we also have the sub items. Okay. So let's say menu. All right. So now if you go back to our website, refresh the page, you will be able to see main here. And in the main, you will be able to see different options. Obviously, we haven't created our max mega menu right now. So let's go back. And now you'll be able to see the option of mega menu. So let's click on this. And here what we need to do, we have to click on primary menu. And from here you need to enable this. Okay. So that's it what we need to do. All right. So now let's go back. Refresh the page. Now you will be able to see the change in our menu. Okay. So this is how it is looking right now. But still we have to edit this. Okay. So let's go back. And here we have to go inside the menu themes. Okay, so in the menu things, you can see we have the different options here. So we have the general settings, we have the menu bar, we have the mega menus, fly out menus, mobile menus, and custom styling. Okay, so right now I would go inside the menu bar and I would like to change the background color here. I want to make this a transparent color. All right, so now this is looking good. So we have to, we have to save this. Now let's go back. You will be able to see the change in our mega menu okay so let's go back now all right so now what we need to do we have to add the menu pairing so i would go here with the 20 px from each side and in the item fonts i would go with the white color but i would like to change the font size so this would be 24 all right so now this is looking better okay so background color on the hover i think i would still go with the transparent color here and the spacing, I would like to add some spacing. So this would be 50 px. All right. So let's just save changes. Now let's just go back. Refresh the page. 
all right so now you will be able to see our menu here so now i think the font is too big so we have to go back and then we have to do the changes here in the item font so let's just go here with maybe 18 now this will look better and what i need to do here all right so here i have to change this color so this will be transparent all right so now let's just save changes again refresh the page all right so now this is looking perfect this is looking way more better than before okay so the design is looking okay and now what we need to do we have the mega menus here so in the mega menu we have the panel background we have the panel width and you can also see the other options here but right now let's just go here inside the menus in the PS. and here what i need to do as you can see this we have the mega menu option so let's click on this and here you have to select the grid layout all right so what i would like to do here i would just simply like to put the things on the new line so let's add the new column one more i would put the category here and i would put the policies here okay this is looking great and what i can do here and if i wanted to add the logo of my website i can also do this so for that what i would need to do i just simply click on the select a widget and here you can see the option of image here so in the image what i can do here i would simply like to put this here after the policies click on here click on the edit and we have to add the image from here okay so i think i would go here with this one the logo of the astro theme so let's click on save all right so now let's just close this and here we have to save menu and now we have to go back into our website refresh the page now if i just hover over our main menu option now you'll be able to see that we are having the products we are having the category and the policy okay but i think we have to create more space into it so for that we're going to go back into our wordpress dashboard we have to go inside the mega menu and into the mega themes now let's just try to edit the mega menus here all right so i think we can change the panel background color here so let's click on this and i would go here with a dark blue color i think this would look better and i will simply copy this color and put it here all right so let's click on choose again okay so here what we need to do we have to add the panel padding so i would go here with 30 px from each side all right so now this is looking okay so let's click on save changes now let's go back refresh the page and now you'll be able to see that we are having a better panel but we have to do some changes into our text okay the first thing that i need to do i have to add the width here so i would like to give this 300 px and also i would like to give here a kind of 280 px all right so after the panel width what we need to do we have to change the font color here so i'm gonna go here with the white color and also on the white color here and also for this one second level menu items all right so now i think this would look better so let's click on save changes now let's go back refresh the page all right so here i think we still have to make some changes so let's go back and here what we need to do we have to add the width here so let's just go here with 600 px and in the inner width i would go here with the 100 percent and here what we need to do we have to change the item font here let's just change this to the white and also for the, this one okay so now let's go back refresh the page all right so now you can see this this is looking way more better okay still we can increase the width of it and you can also see we can increase the font size of it we can also do the customization on the font size of it but i think this is looking way more better right now so if you wanted to change the font size here so let's go here with 20 px and i would go here with the 20 px again 18 px all right so let's save changes go back again refresh the page all right so as you can see here this is looking way more better now okay and one last thing so let's go back and here 800 px in the outer width save changes now let's just go back refresh the page 
all right so this is looking perfect now okay so this is how you can design mix mega menu in wordpress so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe to the channel